you calming? Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Poor man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Oh yeah, dumb question. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? <laughs> Not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? <sighs> Charming man. <sighs> Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me any... Not a word! Not a peep! Until today, you made me break my vow. Happy? I meant well, really. Well, it certainly didn't turn out well. Out of my sights, Ryan! Here, grand work, Witcher. Your reward, as promised. How about that? Beard down to his waist and a toddler's sense of humor. <laughs> Good luck to you. Retrieve the property you lost. Kill you? Thanks be to Freya, where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there, long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward, sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. Your monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road, then waiting in ambush? They're too plain dumb for that, damn it. Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? Think Larvik's some kind of getaway for mutants? Witcher's stopping in every week? Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened? Ask away. Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but... Cause I did? It was huge. It's maw all blood smeared. Bugger gutted Ungi with one claw, near spliced him in two. Where it is, you were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here, along the road to Luffeton. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh. Blood spurted in the eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Huh, <laughs> for what? Yes, I got company. Help then. Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. Now, tell us, was it a tough fight? Got any wounds need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, what you're in. All right, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. We are diablin', you know, drowners. 
real problem, the kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the where the Ablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, master. That's dear, it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. You were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Wolf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, where the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin, sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Mores, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Think I deserve more. Water hag's significantly more dangerous than drowners. Not denying it, but my coin pouch ain't exactly bottomless. Neither is the sea. Plenty more filth ready to crawl up from its bottom. Might need my services again. And I won't stick my neck out for those who skimp on the reward. Extorting protection coin, eh? Take it. Take all I got. And choke on it, you bugger. What's brought ye to speak, Arog? Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung a notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. 
Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. They had their ups, they had their downs. Nils thoroughbred skirt chaser, and Brit's just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? Finding Nils won't be easy. Reward you posted's not enough. Bring him home, and I'll spare no coin. Need to hear something specific. A sum. First, you gotta tell me something specific. What happened to Nils? Well, now, dunno. Would you consider dropping it a bit? Agreed. I'll see what I can do. I want to talk to your sister first off. Britt and Nils had their favorite spot. Cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's been wandering about there. Thanks. I'll go see her. <laughs> Leave me be! Did you see Nils die? I saw a shadow, great wings, like a cloud passing over the sky. Then I heard him scream. Something grabbed him, lifted him up, then flew off towards the caves on the shore. But he was alive, screaming my name. I'll look into it. Dangerous lady of the depths. Clearly used to be worshipped here. Same scales as on the altar. Gotta be. Some monster dropped him from high up. Brit wasn't lying. <laughs>